Hi guys. Today we're going to be reading Edwina, the dinosaur who didn't know she was extinct. And this is by one of my favorite authors ever in the whole entire world. Can you guys guess who it is? Mo Williams. You guessed it right. And I love this book because this book is really showing us about how important it is for all of us to have a friend who listens. Um, so I want you to notice how two of the main characters in the story change throughout the story and um, how their feelings are also changing throughout the story, okay? Edwina, the dinosaur who didn't know she was extinct. And I love Mo Williams because he always connects um, his books. And here we see cookies. It reminds me of Don't Let the Pigeon Eat a Cookie. And Mo Williams is very talented. Not only is he the author, but he's also the illustrator of this book. Everybody in town knew Edwina. She was the dinosaur who played with the neighborhood kids. She was the dinosaur who did favors for anyone who asked. So sweet and love Edwina. Edwina helped the little old ladies cross the street. And she baked chocolate chip cookies for everyone. Everyone loved Edwina, except Reginald Von Hooby Dooby. Can you guess who that is on this page? He's there. You guessed it right. It's that little dude. He looks so mad, doesn't he? Oh my. Oh my. Why do you think he doesn't like Edwina? Reginald knew everything about everything. He liked to give reports in class about all the things he knew. Today, he was going to talk about things that are extinct, specifically dinosaurs. And look at his project. It says, Dino dinosaurs totally extinct. Report by, you guessed it, Reginald Van Von Hooby Dooby. The class, what is the class thinking? They look a little confused, right? And some of them are like, hmm? But as soon as Reginald started, Beth McPeter asked, What about Edwina? She's a dinosaur. Then Tommy Bircher said, Yeah, Edwina can't be extinct. She bakes chocolate chip cookies for us. And then Miss Mink added, maybe Edwina is baking chocolate chip cookies right now. How do you think Reginald's feeling right now? He's like, mm, did anyone listen to his presentation? Mm -mm. So right here, we see that his feelings are changing, right? He was excited because he said, I'm going to prove dinosaurs are extinct. But now his feelings are changing because people are not listening to him, right? Before he knew it, everyone except Reginald was outside eating cookies. Look at him there. Now he's what? What do you think he's feeling now? He's mad. No one listens to me with that dinosaur around, thought Reginald. Well, tomorrow I'll prove to the whole town that dinosaurs really are extinct. And poof, Edwina will disappear. And now what is he feeling? He's feeling what? He's feeling determined. He's like, yeah, these people are going to listen to me. The next morning, Reginald handed out flyers that made excellent arguments about how extinct dinosaurs are. Well, those flyers also made excellent hats. Are people listening to him? What are they doing with the flyers? Look. 
are making hats. When flyers didn't work, Reginald tried protesting. This is not happening. Look, he's mad, he's so mad. When protesting didn't work, he tried everything he could think of. What are some of the things he's trying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's trying with music. He's trying with magic. But no one listened. Finally, Reginald broke down and cried. <laughs> He sobbed, why won't anyone listen to me? <laughs> I'll listen to you, said a voice from behind. Who do you think it is? I think it's Edwina too. And let's pause really quick and see how has Reginald's feelings changed so far? He went from mad to sad. He's crying. He's like, no one's listening. Who is it? Who told him to listen? Edwina, such a sweetheart. Reginald took Edwina to his classroom. What do you think he's going to do there? Let's find out. Inside, Edwina listened to Reginald as Reginald told her the truth about dinosaurs. He was persuasive. He was expressive. He was loud. Look how loud he's being. Oh, yeah, yay. Reginald. He was very convincing. Edwina was shocked. <gasps> So now, whose feelings have changed? Edwina, right? She went from being happy and being a good friend and listening to being shocked. Now she's like, oh, what? Dinosaurs aren't real? When he was done, Reginald was fa felt fantastic. No one had ever listened to him for so long. So now his feelings are changing again. Now he feels what? He feels happy. Look at that smile. Uh-oh. Look at Edwina, though. Mm, everything Reginald had said made sense. There was no doubt about it in Edwina's mind. She knew that she was extinct. Oh, no. Look at her sad face. Oh no, poor Edwina. <laughs> she just didn't care. Look at her. She was shocked for a moment. She was like, <gasps> dinosaurs are extinct? But then she was like, ah. And then she skipped out of the classroom. Look, she ran out of the classroom. Now his feelings have changed again. What is he feeling now? He's like, what? Where is she going? And by then, let's see, Reginald, neither did Reginald than Hoobie Doobie. He didn't care anymore either, right? So, Edwina, I told you guys I love this book. Um, Reginald was getting frustrated because his classmates were not what? They were not listening to him, right? He kept saying all these things about dinosaurs being extinct and even things about all over the... He just, he wanted to tell everyone everything he knew, right? And no one ever listened to him and he was frustrated. But Edwina did what? She listened to him and by listening to him then he felt better he just needed a friend to listen right and edwina was that person for him edwina is amazing she's a sweetheart she helps everyone in anything so i hope that you loved edwina as much as i do and i hope the next time you get to go to a library you check out edwina because it's such an amazing book okay can't wait to see you guys next week